Hi dear students, here Professor Anil Darekar. Today we are going to study second method for applying metallic coating that is the electroplating. As we studied hot dipping and in that hot dipping we studied galvanizing and tinning. Now we will see definition of electroplating. The method in which coating metal is coated on the surface of base metal on the basis of electrolysis principle is known as electroplating. So here electroplating take place on the basis of electrolysis principle. Now here in the process of electrolysis coating metal gets coated on the surface of base metal. Coating metal coated on the surface of base metal principle behind it is electrolysis principle. Now here we will see method. So here for electroplating we required non-conducting tank. So this is a non-conducting tank. So in non-conducting tank take salt solution of coating metal. For example here we are going to give coating of silver. So here salt solution AgCl. So in this salt solution clean article is placed. Now this article is a base metal that we want to use. So here this article to be plated means on this article we are going to give coating of silver. So this is a base metal. It is connected to negative terminal of the battery. So this article acts as a cathode while positive terminal connected to coating metal. So here coating metal is silver and as it connected to positive terminal so this coating metal acts as a anode. Now here the time when current is passed and suitable pH is maintained or adjust electrolysis process start. Electrolysis process start after adjusting suitable pH and by passing a current. Now here coating metal anode, this anode undergo oxidation. Now here oxidation of Ag take place and after oxidation Ag enter in or pass in solution as a Ag plus while electrons left behind at anode. So from this anode metal atoms at the surface enter in solution. So here Ag plus produced and here electrons left behind at anode. Now this anodic electrons flow toward cathode. Now cathode surface with electrons and in solution Ag plus ions are there. So this Ag plus that is a cation attracted toward negatively charged cathode surface. So Ag plus from solution getting attracted toward the surface of a cathode and by reacting with electron it gets deposited at the surface of article as a coating. So in this way uh, Ag getting deposited on the surface of article on the basis of electrolysis principle as article is placed in salt solution of AgCl that is the Ag plus and Cl minus. Now here the quantity of metal ions that is the Ag plus enter in solution same quantity of metal ions getting deposited on article means for example if 50 Ag plus enter in solution then all 50 Ag plus getting deposited on the surface of article. Okay so in this way article gets coated or gets electroplated by Ag. Now here we will see a reaction, how reaction take place. Now anode is Ag, Ag convert into Ag plus plus electron. Now Ag plus enter in solution and this anodic electron flow toward cathode. Now at a cathode electrons are there and in solution cations are there. So cation react with electron and it produces coating that is a Ag silver plating and this silver plating take place on article. So in this way electroplating 
टेक प्लस एज अ साइज ऑफ एनोड डिक्रीजेस साइज ऑफ कैथोड इंक्रीजेस because here i said the quantity of metal ions enter in solution same quantity of metal ions getting deposited on the surface of article advantages and applications coating is stronger so here foam coating is stronger and any shape article get electroplated means here we don't have any restriction we can place any shape article any size article that we can Uh, get coated uh, in electroplating process so any shape articles get electroplated second thing uh, this electroplating most commonly used for decoration purpose for decorating various articles by giving coating of another metal on the surface of article here this electroplating help to prevent corrosion of metal now here we will see third method that is used for applying metallic coating and that third method is metal cladding now here what is mean by metal cladding metal cladding the process in which thin sheet of a coating metal means here we are using a coating metal in the form of a thin sheet now here thin sheet of a coating metal is firmly firmly means strongly bonded to the base metal on one or both sides okay so here thin sheet of a coating metal is there that thin sheet of a coating metal is firmly attached or bonded or you can say connected to the surface of base metal either from one side or both sides this is called as a metal cladding now here example clad metal means the uh, metal in the form of a thin sheet for cladding purpose so here clad metal is stainless steel or aluminium you can use stainless steel aluminium etc and here base metal mild steel and uh, duralumin so here we will see how this metal cladding take place now uh, take a base metal and cover base metal with cladding metals okay so here base metal is sandwiched between sheets of cladding metal means base metal is sandwiched between the sheets between the sheets of cladding metal after that such a set of sheets passed through rollers such a set of sheets passed through roller under the action of heat and pressure under the action of heat and pressure such a set of sheets passed through rollers so after passing through rollers clad metals mechanically fixed to the surface of base metal after passing through rollers clad metal mechanically fixed to the surface of base metal so in this way cladding take place on the surface of base metal application main important application it is used to prevent corrosion of a metal second application body of a buses means bus body made by using a mild steel and here mild steel cladded by using a stainless steel means mild steel body covered with clad metal and that clad metal is stainless steel uh, next important application uh, duram uh, duralumin duralumin used for aeroplane body so this duralumin used in aeroplane body and which is a covered or which is a cladded by clad metal aluminium so here in this way we studied metal cladding that is the definition method diagrammatic presentation and application now here we will see last method of applying metallic coatings on the surface of base metal that last method is cementation now here we will see cementation now what is mean by cementation now the method in which formation of a strong layer means in the process of cementation what getting formed strong layer getting formed 
Now, what is that strong layer? This is a strong layer of alloy. Strong layer of alloy. Alloy of what? Alloy of coating metal and base metal. Here, it getting formed. It getting formed on the surface of base metal. Okay. So here, base metal covered with strong layer. Strong layer of alloy. Now, how this alloy strong layer formed at the surface of base metal? This alloy is a combination of coating metal and base metal. Now, here we will see how this cementation takes place. So, here uh, take base metal articles, take base metal articles, and these base metal articles uh, we have to pack in the powder of coating metal. So, here packing of base metal articles in the powder of coating metal. So this is the packing. Now this packing we are going to heat to a temperature. This packing heat to a temperature just below the melting point. Just below the melting point of lower melting component of them. Here please try to understand. We have to heat this packing to a temperature. That temperature just below the melting point of lower melting component of them. Now here lower melting component means the component whose melting point is high. Try to understand. Lower melting component means component melt slowly means melting point high. So here we have to keep temperature just below the melting point of lower melting point component means for example base metal and powder of a coating metal for example if base metal article melting point 100 and if powder of coating metal 90 then we have to heat this packing just below 100 because 100 is a lower melting component right so we have to heat at heat it at uh, temperature just below the lower melting component of them. Now here, after heating, powder of coating metal diffuses into base metal. So here diffusion takes place. Through diffusion, powder of coating metal enter in base metal. It reacts with base metal and produce alloy. So powder of coating metal diffuses into base metal. So here, Formation of mixture, mixture of coating metal and base metal and that is what? Alloy. So formation of alloy at the surface of base metal. Base metal. Now formed alloy having a different composition. Formed alloy having a different composition. The layer, the layer which is a close to base metal. The layer, this red color you are seeing, this layer which is a close to base metal, this layer richer in base metal. Why this layer richer in base metal? Because this layer close to base metal. So richer in base metal and poor with coating metal. While this upper layer, upper layer means away from base metal. So here this upper layer away from base metal that's why poor in base metal and richer with coating metal. So in this way alloy formed at the surface of base metal and formed alloy having a different composition. Upper layer, poor base metal. And here the layer which is adjacent to base metal, that layer richer in base metal. Uh, here this cementation also called as a chromizing process or a chlorizing process. When it is called as a chromizing process, if chromium is used as a coating metal, if chromium is used, chromium is used as a coating metal, then that process is called as a chromizing. If aluminium is used for coating, then that process is called as a colorizing. That process is called as a colorizing. Here, I will explain again. Uh, as I said, we have to make packing, packing of hot base metal articles and powder of coating metal. And this packing, we are going to heat to a temperature just below the melting point of a lower melting component of them. 
is for example as i said if base metal melting point 100 degree celsius and here coating metal melting point 90 degree celsius right so here we are making packing of these two packing of these two that is the base metal and coating metal and we have to heat this packing we have to heat this packing to a temperature right just below the melting point of higher melting component of them now here out of two which one melting point is high base metal melting point is high that is 100 right so we have to keep temperature we have to keep temperature greater than 90 and less than 100 that's what i am telling mixture or packing heated to a temperature just below the melting point of lower melting component of them means tentatively we have to heat this packing near about 97 to 98 degree celsius temperature okay so in this way cementation takes place and base metal covered with strong layer of alloy <coughs> applications it is used for protecting small metal articles means especially this method is used for protecting or formation of a coating on the surface of nuts bolts spanner why we are doing this coating we want to protect that metal from corrosion okay so it is used to protect small metal articles by coating coating is a stronger and strong abrasion resistance a highly abrasive material we able to manufacture by cementation abrasive means abrasion means what material uh, with uh, you can say uh, rub and tough purpose we can use that material for rub and tough purpose that is what good abrasion resistance so here in this way today we studied three methods for applying metallic coating in that first one we studied electroplating then second one we studied metal cladding and just now we completed cementation so here we successfully completed all the points under corrosion science thank you thank you for watching